Newport Beach, the pool house, Captain Oates, Chino, ew, I'm Michelle, I'm Liz, and I'm Ingrid, and we're Let's Let's Talk Talk OC. We're the ladies that brought you Tree Hill Talk, and now we are on the West Coast talking about the early 2000s teen drama, The OC. Join us every Monday as we watch and review each episode. We hope you can join us. Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Die the His vs. His Guide to the Apocalypse, the podcast. It's your boy, Brett, and joining me today is the unbelievable, the incomparable, the inconceivable, Wes, what's up? What's up? Volume 2, baby, episode 3, I think. Welcome to 2019. Actually, at this point, it's been 2019 for over a month now. And now we're going to just read from uh, our handy-dandy guidelines from The Guide to the Apocalypse. A horse is a horse, of course. But don't forget to say hey and give it hey, which is, of course, for horses. Number 30, bitches. Wes, what do you think about that? Yeah, that sounds uh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Can you say it ten times fast? Interesting. Horse is a horse, of course, but don't forget to say hey and give it hey, which is, of course, for horses. Wes, today we're talking about titans. Titans. Awesome. Yep. Wes, I hear you once bet Kratos, his wife and kids, that he could beat that you could beat him in an arm wrestling match, and now you have the ghost of Sparta. The ghost of Sparta. Never mind. So Titans! Wes, we've tried to do this episode before, and the last time we failed miserably. Yes. So we're gonna try and do it again. Um so the Titans, Greek mythology, uh, Titans were primordial gods that ruled the earth as, you know, they were gigantic entities and they typically associated with different sort of elements kind of deal. Um, and they were overthrown by the, the, the Greek pantheon, the, the Zeuses and the Hadeses and the Poseidonians and, um, born from Mother Gaia and, uh, Uranus, Wes. That's Mother Earth, Father Sky. And there was the 12 of them at first. Wes, what do you know about the Titans? Not a whole. Just that they're... Uh, a, a lot of people fo- follow a lot of the mythos of it. It's a pretty common thing to kind of get interested in. Um, I, I feel like it kind of hit its peak in... I don't know. Junior high, I think, is when you start kind of learning about the world a little bit. And that stuff kind of gets interesting to you if you're interested in kind of weird stuff. Not that it's necessarily weird, but... Get where I'm coming from? Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. So, Wes, if you were Uranus... (laughs) I don't even know where I'm going with this joke. (laughs) Mm. So anyway, the Titans, there was one big bad dude. His name was Kronos. Um, and he, and, and as with a lot of Greek mythology, he overthrew his father, Uranus. Kronos overthrew, his, threw, overthrew Uranus, Wes. And, uh, uh-huh. yep. and then the Titans kind of established themselves as the ruler of the Earth. Uh, like I said, there was 12 of them, like, there was the first 12, and those were, like, kind of the main ones. I'm gonna attempt to read these names, Wes, and feel free to jump in anytime you like, uh, to correct me. Well, I'm not one to correct here. Here we go. Menemorin. Nemorin? Nemorin. Nemorin Uranus. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Phoebe. Uh, Thanis? Can't read my own handwriting. Tethy? Thea, and Rhea. Oh, and Oceanus, Hyperion, Coeus, Cronus, Creus, and Iapetus. Iapetus Uranus, Wes. (laughs) (laughs) Wes, 
<laughs> I don't even know. We're we're never we're not gonna get past Uranus today, are we? Probably not. Yeah. So each Titan had sort of like a um thing that they kind of ruled over that or that they kind of embodied like for instance, Cronus was the Titan of Time and the Ages. Like uh, Hyperion was Light. Iapetus, Iapet, Iapetus was like the mortal lifespan. He was in charge of that kind of dealio. And yeah, you got all those guys. Um, and then, of course, they all wielded, well, some of them anyway. At least Cronus did. He wielded like a big harp. He had a scythe and a sick or a sickle, which he used to castrate his father, Uranus. He castrated Uranus, Wes. Um, and yeah, like, a lot of, it's with a lot of these Greek things. Like, there's a lot of, like, daddy issues running around, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Also, a lot of incest. Because um, I'm pretty sure Kronos kind of banged <laughs> somebody. Yeah, his sister Rhea. So, he married his sister Rhea. Banged his sister, had a bunch more Titan babies, including um, Atlas, which is, you know, the notable ones would be like Atlas, Eos, Helios, and a couple of other ones. Prometheus is one of them. That's a notable one. Um, or maybe not. Maybe those are from, I don't fucking know, Wes. Maybe those are from other guy in Uranus. His chill. Oh, you know what? I, I just remembered. It just popped in my brain. Ah, <sighs> Kronos' children were the gods, you know, like Zeus and Poseidon and all them dudes, right? Yes. And That's eventually, correct. someone came up with this prophecy thing that said that his children would overthrow him, so he started eating all of his own children, um, and then of course, um, Zeus was hidden from him, and I think his wife gave him, like, a stone wrapped, swaddled in, like, a baby blanket or some shit, and he ate that. And Zeus grew up and eventually would overthrow his father... During the Titan War. And Zeus forced him to vomit up his kids. Who were somehow still alive in there. And he was banished. Confined in Tartarus. Or maybe Nyx or something. And the moral of the story is. Ultimately as far as humans are concerned. The Titans and the, the gods themselves. Are all just kind of dicks to people. To mortals. Lots of, lots of daddy issues. Extramarital affairs incest and being di just all around dicks like very few of them were very nice it seems like um but they've also appeared prominently in pop culture most notably that i can think of is god of war Wes, did you play god of war i played it when it first came out yeah i played the first three didn't play the new one but it just won game of the war game of the year award so and over Red Dead Redemption 2, so that's pretty surprising. But it is, from what I understand, a really, really good game. Uh, Disney's Hercules, I remember, was a really cool one, too, because the Titans are really cool. But what's uh, differing about those two things is, like, in Hercules, they were bad. Like, the Greek gods were good, and the Titans were bad. And in God of War, the Titans were just kind of... Um... um like, the Greek gods were bad, and the Titans were, I guess, sort of indifferent as far as humans were concerned, anyway. So, obviously, Kratos and the Titans went back to beat up the gods. All that stuff like that. Wes, this episode is a fucking laugh riot. Is there any fucking doubt as to why we this failed last time? And why... I don't know. It's... It's an informational episode, but at the same time, it sucks. Volume 2, yeah. bigger, better, uncut. Wes, if the Titans came back and tried to take over the planet, how would you yourself survive such a thing? How would I survive? Uh, I, I, I'm going to try not to offend anyone because you don't know who you would be offending. If it's someone, you know... If they were portraying themselves as a human or something. Do what? Like say, you know, I mean, I mean, they're a god. They got powers. And they're going to want to insert themselves into society somehow. Like, so you think you want to insert themselves into Uranus? 
I don't. No. I think you're thinking more of the Greek gods kind of deal because they like to be sneaky and and change themselves yeah. into humans or well, eagles or something. I mean, then I, I, I'm if I'm going to try to survive that, well, I mean, I guess I'm going to try to leave. <laughs> I think the key, as with most of the things that I talk about anyway, or my solution is to just go into the woods, be a hermit, stay out of the way. I don't that's, think that's good. Bring as little attention to yourself as possible. Exactly, that's what I meant. Try not to offend anyone. And let the uh, let the um, titans go after the major population centers. I just heard a Pokeball on your end. <laughs> Are you catching a Titan Pokemon? No. He's Are a you... tiny Pokemon. A tiny Pokemon. Did you catch that shiny Vulpix yet? No. Good God, no. son. Well, still, still a one going battle. Yeah. Maybe the type to resolve it for me. I guess if you wanted to, if you had to fight the Titans, you would probably. I, here's what you need to do: is you need to go all in on Greek mythology. Obviously, if the Titans are real, then it's not mythology, bitch. And you better start worshiping some gods, and hopefully, you gain their favor. And I don't know, maybe fucking. Uh, Oh shit, Wes, what's that one? Maybe Athena sends you like a magical sword or something that's capable of slaying the Titans. You know what I mean? That's yeah. that's it's a crapshoot, but basically that that's what you gotta go for, you know? Pick and maybe pick maybe some modern warfare weapons can put a dent in them. You would hope, right? You'd get a, hope. Get a tank. Maybe Athena sends you a magical tank. It's a tank is basically a big bow and arrow. Yeah. Times a billion. <laughs> Wes, this is going to be a short episode. Thank God. Yes. Yeah. Do you got anything else? My God. I do not. Me either. So let's do our pl 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 plugs. Guys. Leave us a rating and review. Please rate and review us based on other episodes other than this one. Anything less than five stars and you're an anus. You're, you're anus. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, check us out on the Twitter at Let's Die Pod. Send us an email at Let's Die Pod at gmail.com. If you got any ideas for the show, we would love to hear them. Absolutely. Check us out on Facebook at Let's Die the Podcast. Check out our sister pod over there at uh, Pokemon After Dark Rye. And check out our Redbubble store. Redbubble.com slash people slash let's die. All the funds from that go towards covering bubbles overhead. It's all made to order. And what little itty bitty bit we get goes towards making the show better. So we got everything from mugs and cups and leggings and backpacks and shit like that stickers even exciting what you're gonna go buy you some let's die merch oh uh, one day from the mouth of the co-host he's <laughs> bought it all and he loves it all in the future well you know i mean them, them show perks uh, add up them show perks. Yeah, them show perks that you're going to use your own actual money from your IRL job to buy. <laughs> <sighs> oh, people, we love you so much. Thank you for listening and dealing with us through so much stuff. Hope you enjoy Uranus in the sky. Wes, if we're going to die... Let's die together. Oh, sounds great. Yeah. Say bye. See you around. Oh, bye. <laughs>
And that's not even count. That's not even counting the ones I haven't tried catching because now I only run into every so many of them. So you have caught. You said you're telling me you caught 500 Vulpix to catch one shiny, and you haven't caught a shiny yet. And I haven't got it yet. Wow. And yet, all, all these videos that people see online is they get them in like their 70s and 80s, and then this, and then, but it's supposed to be a one in 373 chance. And then right now, I'm basically just running in and out of the map, making the Pokemon respawn and hoping a shiny spawns. That's insane. That is. And this, and it's, Sir, and it's Volpex. I just want my Volpex. Sir, sir, I salute your dedication and mourn for your loss. <laughs> and I, 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 I was like, I don't know how people did the friggin' Mewtwo one. Uh, just save and restart every time it's not shiny, right? Yeah, yeah. and that's a lot of friggin'. You got to figure if at that point because you ain't got a catch combo, you got a one in one thousand chance. Oh my god. Which, my dance is 1-373 with the catch combo. Wow. So, yeah. Though, Mew doesn't really, Mewtwo doesn't really look like that good in China anyway. He's just white with a green patch. Yeah, to hell with all of it. I, but I do want a Vulpex. Chinese and are I'm a nice the, bonus when you find one, but man, it's just, it is not I'm worth I'm the at, effort for I'm a swap at color point palette. Where, um, so far in, I don't want to stop, but it's killing me. Well, yeah, you've put so much time in it already, it kind of feels like a waste if you don't succeed. Exactly. God damn. Well. Because then, and then my next step, after this, getting this shiny Vulpex, is the next one, where, is where I go to trade, I have to trade Vulpexes to this other person, one at a time, until I get a shiny Alolan Vulpex. Okay, you know what? Save it for the... We should probably save that for the Pokemon podcast. Yeah, 